from across the street inside the Squarespace studio. Adam, congratulations. John, Henrik, and Steve here in our studio. Uh, you were the second guy to pile onto Artemi Panarin after you saw that puck go in. Put into words the emotions that went through you? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's hard, to, hard to say. I mean, uh, once you see that puck go in, you kind of black out. And uh, for me, it just <clears> ran <throat> to him. Uh, you know, we kind of had a heartbreak in that first game in overtime. So to be on the other end of it and, and win the series with it was uh, obviously exciting. Foxy, Hank here. Congrats. Great series. Excited to see you guys move on here. Uh, just wondering, the, the feeling in the room, I talked a little bit about it uh, after three, usually pretty quiet. Um, was there any, anybody said anything to lighten the mood in there just to make, mm -hmm. gu make sure guys relaxed? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, our leadership core of, uh, you know, Troops, Cries, Stromer, uh, Brett and, and Mika have, you know, even Revo all year have been uh, able to calm the room and, and uh, you know, had a steady presence at, at a time especially like this. And, yeah, I think we just, you know, had belief in the room. I think we were just saying to, to keep going, try and get one. And, uh, you know, no one try and be the hero. It's going to take a team effort. And, uh, you know, you could see uh, Key draws a penalty there and uh, great play by him. And obviously we were able to go in there on the power play. Adam, you guys were able to sort it out, and Igor was a big component of that. What do you think his impact was in this game? I, I think it's, uh, you know, this game and, and every game. I heard you guys talking about how he, he makes the saves that uh, keep you in it when you might not even realize, you know, you're down one <clears> and he <throat> makes a save, and it seems like he's done that every game. You know, we've dug ourselves a little bit in a hole, and, uh, you know, if they get a two-goal lead, it's a little different, but... You know, his his ability to, to keep us in games to, you know, when we have the lead, to hold the lead. And, uh, I mean, we've been talking about it all year. Uh, you know, I think he's the best best goalie in the league. And, uh, you know, you could see it there. Adam, when you guys were down three games to one, you had a 10% chance historically to come back and win the series. You did it. How in the world did you do it? And what is it about this team structure, this infrastructure, that allowed you to do what you guys just did? Yeah, I mean, I don't think we were really thinking about our our odds or chances of, uh, you know, coming back. I think after we went down 3-1, we, we met as a group and said, you know, we just got to go back, win one game at home and, and take it from there. And, and we did that. And, uh, you know, it helps. I know, you know, Crides has been a part of, of a few teams that came back from, from down 3-1. So to have that is obviously, you know, really helpful. Uh, but, yeah, I think, you know, we were just focused on one game at a time. We took it like that. Uh, you know, and obviously it worked out for us. Adam, uh, if you're being really honest, <laughs> how happy were you when Lindy came back? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you, you look so comfortable when, when he's out there with you. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, me and, and the whole team, it seems, uh, you know, obviously just speaking for myself, having a guy that I've played with now for three years and, and no, going back to 16 years old, you know, roommate away from the ice, when you have that presence, it it obviously makes you feel really comfortable. Uh, you know, he helps me out a ton, and, and uh, you know, I think you could see how he helps the team too. You know, I, I've heard everyone, uh, you know, use the word warrior to describe him, and that's what he is. I mean, uh, you know, he battles. He, he's going to give you 100% every time, and uh, it really gave us a jolt when he came back. It's a huge win for, for the team, for the organization. Um, Gutsy performance, coming back again. Um, that whole no quit New York thing is uh, is pretty true with this group. Tell me, how thrilling was this moment for you to happen in a game seven in overtime in this building? Отличные эмоции, конечно, наши болельщики опять дали нам огромное количество энергии, за что им спасибо. Все рады, двигаемся дальше. Honestly, great emotions. Our, our fans gave us a lot of energy during that game. Uh, thanks to them for that, and we'll keep moving on. Artemi, what did you see on your goal? Black picture. I wish I was that good. Да, в принципе, они с первой игры давали мне бросать. Я почему-то как-то не бросал. Может, правда, всех послушать, начать бросать. Overall, honestly, they they've been letting me shoot since the first game. Kind of my bad. I haven't really been uh, making those shots, but maybe I should listen to everyone's advice and actually get out there and take shots. Was this a frustrating game for you up until the very end? Была ли вот тяжелая игра? Вот было ли чувство того, что вот не получается как? Сегодня у меня или у команды? У команды у тебя? 
А, да, в принципе, плотная игра, просто плей-офф, а мало есть возможности, мало есть свободного льда, поэтому, в принципе, четкой картины нету. А, одни забрасывают, другие выбрасывают, и, в принципе, так, всю игру. It was a really stressful game. There wasn't that much room on the ice. There's, they're, they're really pressing, and you know, one team's throwing it out of the zone, the other team's throwing it in the zone. Uh, so I couldn't really get an overall picture of what was going on. Jacob, do you feel like the highs and lows of this game kind of mirrored the series with the close call on the goal and, and quick rally? Do you guys just, just stay as even keeled as you can, and how hard is that to do? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a... Really good series. Looking back on it, it's uh, up and down, back and forth. It's uh, a fun game to be a part of. You want to be a part of close games, and especially Game Seven overtimes. Uh, it's a pretty fun game to win. But overall, it's a great series, and I mean, now uh, now we're moving on and focus on the next one. Jacob, what about Igor's first Game Seven and what he did tonight? Yeah, he was good. Um, he's he's Mr. Reliable back there. I think we, I think everybody knows, not just our team. Everybody knows he's gonna. He's going to show up in big games and, and play well and make saves he's not probably not supposed to make. And I mean, he's a, a big part of us winning that game. Jacob, how much of a help was the fact that you've come back so much this season from such deficits? Did it help you tonight? Uh, the belief's always there, I think. I don't think uh, we get down. I don't think anybody gets frustrated or switches the game, really. I think we know we can come back and win games, especially in the third period. I mean, we've done it the last, last three now. We've done it really all year. Uh, just the belief in the room, the, the positivity, the energy. Um, it's just a fun group to be a part of, a fun group to play with. Jacob, the, the energy that you speak of. We were just asking Coach about the feeling on the bench or the feeling of intermission. He said it felt the same. It's, he said that all year. Is that really, the, do you feel like there's never too much nerves or there's never, like, it, do things change for you guys from that perspective, especially in a game like this, or did it feel similar to what it did during the season? I'd say it's pretty similar. I think nothing's really really forced on, on the bench. It's not anybody trying to... Rah rah! I think everybody's pretty calm in how we play the game and get back on the bench. It's calm. People are talking. No one's yelling or I mean, freaking out or any of that. I mean, Chris threw an iPad, so <laughs> that was a big story. Um, but no, I think the energy, the the mood was was the same as it's been all year. I think there's there's just a belief in every guy. Are you telling me the biggest that's the biggest goal you've ever scored? Скажем да, наверное, но сложно сказать. Well, let's say yeah. Um, it's hard to say. I don't really score that many goals, so I'd say all of them are pretty pretty big for me. <laughs> Jacob Gosh was saying um, how confident he was. He felt really good about us having um, scoring a game winner tonight, despite him struggling throughout the game. Um, how high is that belief in him is going to deliver in the big spots, no matter how tough of a game he has? Yeah, it's just. Uh, just who he is. I think it's just a little quirky, but I kind of get the same feeling listening to what he's going to say. Thinking you don't know what Brad's going to say or what he's going to do and what he's capable of. He does it all. I mean, especially for this group. He's, uh, for being such a highly skilled, talented player, um, he doesn't act like it. He doesn't, he's just a, another guy, another player on the team. And I mean, that's, uh, that's a pretty cool, cool thing for a guy that, that level. Um, happy to have him. Can you talk about your defense partner's contribution to the wins tonight? Yeah, I mean, he was, uh, he was great. He was great all series. I mean, he's been, he's been good all year. He keeps getting better. Obviously, a huge play he made, taking that puck to the net and drawing the penalty. And, I mean, that shouldn't be, be overshadowed. That The reason that goal happens is because Key makes a good play and draws a penalty. What did you think of the building tonight, especially when that goal went in? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, that was probably one of the loudest I've ever, I've ever been in. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't really... Stopped to enjoy it. I was kind of too excited to get out there, and I think I crushed Capo on the way. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's a great place to play. It's so fun, and we were looking for the next round. After you enjoyed tonight, what do you expect out of the Hurricanes? Also, about the seven game series. Um, yeah, I mean, they play a, a fast, physical game. They get in on the four check. We're going to be good at breaking pucks out and take advantage of our opportunities when we get them.